mattress, a V6 for the EV. Ride around my city, you should come ride with me, yeah. Feel me if you hear me sip, water like a fish sip. I water to the gillies, yeah. This a new wave, this a takeover. Do it for the future, time to get a world of makeover. Time never stops, no, the time in is not. Time to clean up the block. Streets been a mess. How can I breathe? Smoke in the air, pure gasoline. I see the news, see what you read. Change gotta come, put that on me and watch me educate. Yeah, we been, could have started, but it's never late. Do it for my kids, kids, yeah, let's set it straight. Do it for your kids, kids, gotta set it straight. It's time to regulate. We, we, we need change now. We need solo, we need EV in the game now. Make it change the soda if we know can stay around. Make it change cause we had no time for playing around. Let's quit the playing around. First rule to me, let's keep it clean. Watch how we build, clean and we need. Stuff on the floor, sweep up the scene. We going green, work as a team. First rule to me, let's keep it clean. Watch how we build, clean and we need. Stuff on the floor, sweep up Said I'm perfect, I'll be lying. I can say I'm perfect, but I'm trying. I'ma give my all till I'm dying. I'm the new Captain Planet. Here to make changes, not damage. World on my shoulders while I'm standing. I'm the new Captain Planet. Here to make changes, not damage. World on my shoulders while I'm standing. First rule to me, let's keep it clean. Watch how we build, clean and we need. Stuff on the flow, sweep up the scene. We going green, work as a team. First rule to me, let's keep it clean. Watch how we build, clean and we need. Stuff on the flow, sweep up the scene. We going green, we going green. Extreme Off-Road Park, as you guys saw from the previous footage. To me, I feel like I did Extreme Off-Road Park a disservice. And what I mean by that is, I feel like I did not capture enough footage for this video. And a lot of guys might say, PA, you got tons of footage. Well, for me, in my eyes, I feel like I didn't. So I kinda wanna explain kinda what happened because I feel like I didn't get a full experience of Extreme. Actually, I know I didn't get a full experience of Extreme. And so I kinda wanna dive into that now. So the reason why I'm saying I did not get a full experience at Extreme is because we didn't hit any trails. We stayed on the main trails the entire time and kinda wanna dive into why that happened. So Thursday, bros, the wheel bearings were falling out of the hub assembly, so we had to fix that on the side of the road. That basically set us back four hours. Instead of getting there from like 1.30 to 2.30, we ended up getting there around 8, 8.30. By the time we unloaded, found our spot, cooked dinner, it's already past midnight. We went out, it was dry at this point because it didn't rain. And so we didn't know where we were going, kind of just running around the park, kind of exhausted, up late the night before, up early today, and then be on the road uh, for eight, plus hours just driving plus the four hours of uh, fixing the part, you're on the road for 12 hours, it's an exhausting day. So basically called it quits, went to bed, woke up the next morning, hit Walmart. Of course, I swear, no matter what park we go to, we always have to hit a Walmart. I'm sure you guys are the same way. So we hit Walmart, came back, started getting breakfast ready, started tinkering on the four wheelers, and then started downpouring from 11 to about four. 4.30. And when I mean downpour, I mean like we had to hold down the tents because they were flying away type of downpour. That's that's how bad it was. It wasn't just, just sprinkling, right? Because if it was just sprinkling, we would have went out. Friday, we went out kind of trying to figure out the park. This is our first time there. Met a guy that lives like up the street. He took us around the park. We're flying through the main trails. That video I'll link above me now. That was a great time. But we didn't deviate off the main trail. We didn't hit any side trails. And so that's why I'm saying I feel like I, I did a disservice to this video because I didn't capture us hitting any trails. We hit no trails when we were at Extreme. 
and that's why I'm saying this is a disservice. Saturday, I had to go pick up the girls from the airport. Long story short, I had to pick them up, uh, which wasn't bad. It rained for about an hour or so. They were exhausted. We were kind of exhausted. And so by the time we started getting moving, because we wanted to go to mud truck racing event, finally got everybody ready, hopped on the four wheelers. Bro's four wheeler wouldn't start. Messed around with that for a little bit. And then my other bro's four wheeler, he's leaking something from either his front differential or somewhere. We don't really know. Front drive shafts, there's some things going on with that machine that we need to look into. And so basically, we're down a four wheeler and a half, right? And, uh, and so we went to the mud racing event. That was awesome. Uh, got some footage of that, obviously, in this video. So that was a good time. And then we kind of took the girls around the park. It was their first time there also. So we took them around the park, went to the topless beach. We probably stayed at the topless beach a little bit too long. There's really nothing going on there, but we were kind of just hanging out, you know, shooting the crap. And uh, by the time we got back to camp, everyone was kind of already exhausted and tired. Now, one of my brothers did a venture off and uh, hit a trail. He said, there's definitely some trails out there, but that kind of leads me to my biggest issue for us. For us, it's an eight hour drive. You know, Muddy Bottoms is three and a half for us. Carter's is 30 minutes. River Run is about a solid five, five and a half hours for us. And so making an eight hour run, you know, Saturday night knowing, okay, I gotta make an eight hour run and we still have to pack up in the morning. We kind of called it quits uh, Saturday night, got back to camp, cooked dinner, kind of relaxed, knowing that we're gonna be on the road all day, plus loading up in the morning. I think Extreme Off-Road Park looked like a great park. The amenities, they only had six showers. The hot water wasn't working, so it was cold water. They just put those up, so I know they're still working on that. Now, I will say this, even though they only had six showers, I never waited in line for a shower, if that makes sense. I, I, don't, don't, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I never waited in line. Every time I went to go take a shower, it was open even though they only had six showers. So bombs, they have, I don't know what, 30 showers and you still might wait. River Run, they have what, about eight showers, maybe 10 showers and you still might wait. So that was definitely interesting, but no hot water. There is, you know, it was just tap water. So it was kind of cool, which felt good some days and other days like, man, really after a long day, you kind of want that hot shower, but it is what it is. Hopefully they get that fixed. Uh, the pressure washing center, I saw someone using it. I didn't know, it looked like it was free. I couldn't tell, but when I went up there, one gun was broken, one hose was cut, other two hoses, nothing was coming out. I don't know if I have to pay to get it turned on or if I need to flip a switch and then they would start working, but there was no pressure. I saw someone else trying to use it later in that day and they also had the same issue. I was having like, there was no pressure coming out. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. I'm not trying to blame anyone for that. It's just, I'll take the blame. I probably didn't flip some switch that I, that I didn't know was there. They had ice there, basically have to pay for it and you can grab a bag. So that was cool. There's two sides of the park. There's the ATV side and the marina side. The marina side has uh, sewage, water and power. And it's also on concrete. The ATV side only has water and electric and it's on mud or sand or whatever you would classify that out there as. So if you are going to want to pick a side, pick the marina side, because then you'll have all three of them. On top of that, you'll be on concrete, which means you'll be bringing less mud and debris into your camper as you go in and out constantly, like I know we do. So we didn't know that, bro booked us on the ATV side. I would have done the same thing. Like why would I book the marina side if I want to go ride ATVs? So. Uh, no harm, no foul there. This is something that we would have done differently next time. We would definitely book the marina side. All right, guys, so a quick synopsis outside of the mud riding or trail riding there. Definitely seems like a big party park. Uh, under the bridge, out of Topless Beach, big party areas, definitely. I know they had an event the prior week of us going, and I saw the pictures, and it looked like a freaking blast. We picked the wrong week, essentially. We picked a week after they had a big event. This was supposed to be a big event, so I don't know what happened previous week was definitely a big week that's probably why it was a little bit slower for us out there definitely seems like a, a big party park looks like a good time i saw a lot of people out there enjoying themselves i saw a lot of people had their kids out there so it looks like it's kid friendly i definitely wanted to go back to extreme i just don't know when that's going to happen because like i said it is an eight hour drive so it is a little bit of a haul my wife made a good suggestion she's like you guys need a day for travel there a day for travel back and then you need three days there and which basically means five days for an event which that's definitely pushing it for people having to take off but that's sort of what you need because even if we had a breakdown no big deal we still have three days there and then we still have a whole day back a great suggestion i hope at some point i can be able to do that is go to these parks and spend a whole five days there and make sure i get all the drone footage hit all the trails get all the trail footage and then have a day to relax clean up and load up even though you still had a blast the whole time there. So my review of the Extreme Off-Road Park, definitely a great park, definitely will be back. If you guys are liking these park review videos, go ahead and check my Muddy Bottoms Park Review video out. It is a complete banger. Anyway, that's just another day. Hang out with your boy, PA. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.